right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think, I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the U.S. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can avoid it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, vicious knees landing up top. No head gear around the octagon. At some point defensively, if you don't adjust, the referee's going to step in. The night is almost over. If you don't defend yourself, you will eventually go to sleep. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a tough. Wow, actually got the takedown. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard a bell in the jab. Just misses there with the left. Choi gets caught by that straight hand. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he feels himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice hammer fist. up again, you gotta like that. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just missing on the uppercut there. Single collar tie now. Judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a set. You gotta try to find whether or not he's gonna land. Ron and Palm here are if 
they're going to go to submission. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. He can't even, he can barely stand. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Round two is next. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch. Real quick leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Good takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And they both stand up. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter. He's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And they separate. He takes him down again. What do they say? It's not broken. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. And it has not been broken. How will the opponent change this? Does he have the ability to change this? To this point, it does not look like it's so. Well, he's got his back now. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Just misses with that one. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big kick land. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Lands flush with that right hand. Leg kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Flush right hand is true. 
beautiful leg kick move. Ryan will engage in a single collar tie. Huge knee land. He blocks the punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He is going after that overhand right. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Beautiful strike. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Very impressive strike. Wow. You're changing up your strikes perfectly. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets in. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Set it off. Oh! Use hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Those double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Right here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Both fighters get up now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Some nice back and forth action here. Effective punch there by Joy. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love it grappling. Nice move really really to get the double leg takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's trying to find the right time 
to land the strike that is the fight. Well, a big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you... Oh! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping.